Irish. I was like the only Irish kid in my neighborhood too. Like when I was growing up, like I always wanted to be Italian. Where are my Italian friends? Where are my Italian friends? <laughs> uh, your food, your food. You ever smell your food? Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. You ever smell Irish food? <laughs> it's like gravel. <laughs> Someone paved the driveway? No, I'm in a stew. <laughs> I always wanted to be Italian. So bad. This is how bad I wanted to be Italian. Everybody in my neighborhood was Italian. In third grade, my third grade teacher asked me, she goes, PJ, what do you want to be in your world? I go, Italian. She <laughs> goes, you can't be Italian. I'm like, this fucking lady. <laughs> Went to that, that, that flea market that they used to have in, in, uh, by uh, Putnam, the Putnam Fair thing they used to have over there, and I bought an Italian horn. I bought an Italian horn, and I, I, I wore it. I wore it home to my right off the boat Irish father. And he just comes in, and he's like, What the fuck is that? I go, It's an Italian horn. He goes, You're Italian now, huh? I go, Yeah, it's fucking yeah. <laughs> He goes, it was summertime. So he goes, all right, do me a favor. How about you take your shirt off and go stand in the lawn for about four hours? <laughs> Get back red as a damn stop sign. I was like, I had blisters. The only part of my whole body wasn't red, that damn horn. So sweet, and I, I think it was last fall she actually saved the seven-year-old's life. Yeah. Like she was saved the seven-year-old's life. Yeah. And, so I wasn't here, so she was sending me, and they made her like hero of the month in the paper and all this stuff. So the, the little girl was choking out an apple, and my mom gave her a Heimlich maneuver, right? And she saved this kid's life. So when I was reading this, I could not believe it was my mother. Because, ironically, when I was seven... <laughs> I was choking on a lifesaver. And she didn't do the Heimlich, she just grabbed my leg and shaked the living shit out of me and kicked me in the chest. She just kicked, kicked me in the chest, right? And the, and the, and the lifesaver, it dislodged in about 30 seconds. But she kicked me for a good 20 minutes in the chest going, Don't you fucking ever do that again, you scared the shit out of me, you son of a bitch! Fucking do that again! I told mom, you didn't apply that technique in the fucking school? <laughs> to this day, if someone offers me a lifesaver, I punch him in the face. 